they say that when the hymen is broken virginity is taken away and when there is no hymen there is no virginity how true is this statement does the hymen determine the virginity of a lady Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Mercy Mary, popularly known as the Nurse with the Difference. And I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be talking about virginity and hymen because I got a message, a question on the comment section where a subscriber asked, Nurse Mercy Mary, could you please talk about virginity and hymen? And I decided to make the video today to talk about what virginity, virginity is all about, to talk about hymen to talk about the difference between hymen and virginity if there is any and also to let you know if um, the hymen is broken it simply means there is no more virginity but before we go into details into this class if you are new on our youtube channel please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out for all my returning subscribers this is not Mercy Mary saying thank you let's go there Welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we are going to be talking about the hymen and virginity. Hymen and virginity because there are a lot of misconceptions surrounding these two words, hymen and virginity. And I want to particularly thank that subscriber for drawing my attention to it by saying, Nos Mercy Mary, could you please talk about the hymen and the virginity? First of all, what is the hymen? What is this hymen that we are talking about? The hymen is a tiny piece of tissue surrounding the opening of the vagina. It's a tiny piece of tissue surrounding that opening of the vagina. Remember, in our previous video, I explained the function of the vagina, where I said that the vagina is an opening where the penis goes in and out. It is also an opening where menstruation and ovulation secretions comes out. It is an opening where a baby comes out. That is the vagina. Remember, the hymen is what is a tissue, is a tiny tissue surrounding located at the opening of the vagina remember i didn't say it is covering the vagina the hymen does not cover the vagina like we were meant to believe it doesn't cover it for those that have hymen that covers the vagina an operation needs to be done as soon as possible to help them open it so that the menstrual secretions can come out so the hymen normal normal hymen they surround the vagina they are located at the opening they don't cover the vagina so you know because we are meant to believe that the hymen covers the vagina so take note of that for those that ask what is the color of the hymen is it white is it black is it brown is it yellow is it red the color of the hymen is same as the color around the vagina as the skin color around the vagina so if as a lady you want to know you want to see your hymen all you have to do is to pat that labia minora and majora that thing that looks like feathers on the on the private part you pat it open bend down and see you might see it but if you don't see the hymen don't be worried why because not all women have this hymen yes not all women have the hymen so for the people that believe that if the hymen is broken you've lost your virginity they call it broken before i go details before i go further say before i go into the broken and virginity I want you to note that the hymen does not break because they have this mindset that it breaks rather it stretches hymen does not break but rather it stretches so when you stretch that is where you see some women bleeding bleeding after um the, their first sexual intercourse the hymen does not break but rather it stretches and for those that keep asking does hymen means virginity? Does the presence of hymen means virginity? See, since not all women have hymen, the presence or absence of hymen does not mean a woman is a virgin or not. Let me explain why I said that. You get, so like earlier said, some women are born with hymen, while some are not born with hymen. You get some women are born with hymen and some are not born with hymen. So if you 
having sexual intercourse with a woman that doesn't have this high man that doesn't mean for the first time because she doesn't have the high man because she doesn't bleed you assume she's not a virgin that is a lie because not all women have this high men that we are talking about some have and some does not have and that is a different thing from virginity virginity or virgin is someone that has not have any sexual intercourse this person has not have any sexual intercourse that is virginity it doesn't really depends on presence or absence of high men some women may stretch their hymen when they have their first sexual intercourse. Some women may not have this hymen to stretch. So for those that say the hymen determines virginity, it's a lie. It's a lie. The hymen is not the one that determines virginity. Rather, virginity is determined by absence or presence of sexual intercourse. If a particular woman has had sexual intercourse or not because not all women have high men in their vagina so then that takes us to the different types of high men because this different type of high men will give you an insight on what to expect as a lady so there are various types of um, high men the first one i want to share with you is the imperforate high men the imperforate high men this type of high men needs surgery yes it needs surgery in this type of high men the vagina is covered like it's totally covered and you will not know as a lady till when you get into adolescent you started you have started seeing your meses meses have started coming but it's not coming out you start noticing pain you'll be complaining of abdominal pain around that abdominal area down the pelvic region you'll be feeling pain why because the meses that is supposed to come out is accumulating in the vagina and the vaginal is blocked it's covered by this hymen so you start feeling pain that will not prompt you to go to the doctor like oh doctor i have been having pain it will look as if i want to urinate but I, when i get to the toilet i don't urinate you not start having urine um, urinary frequency things like that so that takes you to the doctor so when you get to the doctor the doctor might like okay let's do some tests when they do some tests they might find out that you have what imperforate hymen blocking the vagina and that requires a minor operation not a big operation it's just a minor operation so that the meses can easily flow out so this is kind of a uh, different from the normal one i said earlier on and i want you to take note that not all women have the same um hymen different women different types of hymen different women different types of hymen different shape of hymen then the next type of hymen i want to share with you is the micro perforate hymen micro perforate as the name implies micro perforate simply means that it's micro the hole the opening is small but the hymen is covering the vagina in such a case for those that use a measure crop the measure cup might go in but may, you might be finding it difficult to bring it out that should be a sign that oh you are having micro perforate hymen so this micro perforate hymen is different from the perfor uh, imperforate so in the imperforate now what happens is that there's no opening at all in the micro perforate what happens is that there's an opening but it is small then that takes us to the third type of um hymen the third type is known as the cribriform hymen the cribriform hymen this cribriform hymen it has small small holes small small holes around you can see the screen what is showing on the screen it has small small holes around in the cribriform hymen so it's different from the what the micro perforates and the imperforates then the last type of hymen i would like to share with you is the septate hymen the septate hymen in the septate hymen there is a septal should i say a septal there's something causing it there's something dividing the hymen into two the left and the right side let's see you can see what i'm showing on the screen so that is a septate hymen sometimes this type of hymen both the imperforate um the micro perforate the septate and the cribriform and um, then um hymen they require surgery minor surgery not a big surgery so you don't get scared they require minor surgery to open it properly so that the meses ovulation secretion a measure cup they can all go in and go out easily so for those that might be might be uh, that are virgins that are having difficulties when it comes to sexual intercourse they are having pains in the abdominal region they are noticing something strange different from normal it's advisable you see a doctor so these are the four different types of what of hymen but on a normal base the hymen is 
just located at the opening of the vagina and it is not meant to cover the vagina because if it covers the vagina menstruation will not be able to come out easily so there will be pain around that area which may make you see which may, may make you see um, the doctor as soon as you can now i believe you know the difference between hymen and virginity and i believe you also know the difference type of hymen the difference between the various types of hymen and i hope this video clears your doubt especially for that followers or subscribers that ask that particular question so thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nosmes Mary saying thank you. Bye. See you in our next video.